Hey guys, so I'm here and I want to give you a tutorial on how to make a duct tape Christmas ornament. Looks like this. It's kind of bad looking on the camera, but um, let me just start off by saying I didn't invent this. Um, the last person I saw who made one was um, DT Projects 10. Um, I'll put a link like right there. Uh, click on his channel, subscribe. He's he joined in um, November and he's really good. Um, you guys should check him out because he makes great wallets and he's only got a couple subscribers so I want to get his name out there. Um, so yeah, let's get started. Um, so what you want to do, uh, get something circular, something that, I, I'm going to use this, but, uh, for, to, to make the circle to the base, I used, um, the bottom of an axe can of spray, uh, you can use anything. You can use even the inside roll of the um, inside of the roll of duct tape. Um, and you want a couple col colors depending on what you want your design to be. So I will start. Uh, and I'm sorry for my lack of a clean workspace. I just haven't really gotten to cleaning up yet. Let me just I'll make it better. Just so you don't even have to see it. All right. So I'm going to use chrome as my base because, I don't know, chrome Christmas ornaments would look cool. Alright, you get, start off like that. And however big, you want to make sure that it's wide enough to make your ornament. Then you cut. Then another strip same length or bigger I'm kinda being sloppy right now because I don't need all my chrome duct tape alright then hold it down cut around the edges and um if you want to make a certain type of ornament that has like um, a uh, it's kind of like something to hold the hook, um, something to hold the hook that's like an extension off of it, then just make that that little cut like wherever you are. So I'll actually do that just for just to show you guys. So I've got my um, my almost completed circle. And then I'm just going to go like this. Like that. And that. Oh, first I'm going to measure. Make sure it's good. Alright, so then you've got your little, like, outburst or something. <laughs> I don't know what to call it. And once you've finished, just cut out from the cut that you just made and peel off the extra. Alright, so this is pretty good. You just want to flip it over. And you don't need any reference for this one because you can just use the um, edges that will be visible once you put down the extra tape. So then take the color that you use and lay it back on top. Leave some extra so that it's clean. Alright, I don't know if you can tell, but you can kind of see the outline of the ornament that is underneath the tape. Um, uh, my camera is kind of picking it up. 
Well, then you just cut around that line. Try to cut pretty close to the edge so that you don't have too much hanging off when you flip this up. Alright, so then, once again, cut away the extra, but you might want to keep some just in case you want to cover up any rough edge. So, I'll keep some, and I will just grab this, and it looks pretty good. Um, if you see this right here, you can kind of see there's a little extra, and that's why you might want to save some, or you could just cut that off. I'm going to cut it off, but um, if you have any extra here, you can just use that and fold it over, like I'll just show you. So there's the extra on the bottom, kind of see it, it's right here. And you just take on the other side, you take um. A little small strip of duct tape about that big of the same color. Tape it onto it like that, then just fold it over, and it should cover up the excess. Alright, then you can just throw away any if you don't need it, but if you want to save it, go ahead and save it. I'm all for being resourceful. Alright, now you're getting ready for the decorations. Um, if you don't want to do a, do a decoration, then you're done, and you're finished, like I just said. But, um, if you do want to do a decoration, you want to take some colors, which I already have cut out, some strips, and then I, I'm just going to do some lines down, just like this one. So, cut some nice thin lines. from each color maybe two or three of each depending on how big your ornament is I need two of each because I can't imagine I need, I'll need more alright whichever color you wanted to use first pick up a strip of that and kind of put it at a slant if you want a um, kind of like a spiral effect and then just fold over the extra and don't worry about the back because whichever side you'll be seeing will be on the front of the tree or the front will be seen on the tree so you don't have to worry about the back unless you want to have a double sided ornament you can just cover up the extra and go again with what I'm doing right now and then <coughs> take your second color <coughs> strip your second color <coughs> sorry I'm sick and then lay that down and fold over the extra Then your third color, keep doing that. I'm going to need more um, strips. You, know, you can go in sequence, you can use whatever colors you want, you can use the same color. You know, it all depends on what you want. Now, another strip. You can skip through this part if you don't want to see me putting on the detail to get on to um, the hook and how to put the hook in. It's all really easy. But if you'd like, you can stay and watch me be boring.
I was wrong. I needed more than this. Alright, so now that your ornament is all decorated and looks nice, you want to put your hook on it. A hook can easily be made from a paper clip like this, and you just take the inside edge, this part, and bring it out and make it, make this back edge straight. Once it's like that, take the big thing and just make it into a hook. It's fairly easy. Now, to make the hole so you can have the hook on your ornament. Make a small circle or square, whatever you want, in the little notch that you put in earlier. Or, if you are like me, and you made one just circular without the uh, without this part. Just make a hole right there. It's pretty self-explanatory. If it doesn't cut out all the way, just make sure you get all the edges so it doesn't ruin your ornament. All right. So you got your hole, and this is the back, by the way, so these are all the edges um, of the lines. So you've got that. Then just take your hook and put it in there. And you've got a duct tape Christmas ornament. I hope this tutorial helped, and make sure to check out DT Projects 10. And I'm not sure exactly who invented it, but I remember he, DT Projects 10, um, mentioned duct tape stuff, making a video about it. Um, so if he invented it, um, check out his channel. And if not, then I'm not sure who invented it. So have a great night, and subscribe if you'd like. Um, I make mostly duct tape wallets. Um, but sometimes I have the occasional urge to make something else out of duct tape. And an ornament was what I wanted to make this time. Alright, cool. So, check out my channel. Um, got a bunch of videos. Um, and, yeah. Alright. Adios.